Drug addiction is something our country has dealt with for such a long time. Getting people back on the right path is really what the mission is all about. The film Snow Babies depicts the grim reality of drug addiction and that path back to sobriety. Joining us now is Paula Andina. She is an actress in the film Snow Baby that comes out September 29th. Uh, Paula, welcome to the show. Hi, Brian. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming on. You know, just a few months back, we had Tommy Vex of Bad Wolves, who was a part of that soundtrack to your film, and which we were thrilled to have him on. And it's nice to have kind of a, a nice musical push behind this film, right? Absolutely. I think that with film and then music as well, we can really get our message across. And Sober, which is Tommy's song from Bad Wolves, it's featured in our trailer, in our movie soundtrack, and that song gives me chills every single time. So the music just makes the film even more impactful, even more powerful with the lyrics, the, the songs are so, so in, in line with the tone of the film. Mm -hmm. I think that it'll really help us you know, I get agree. our message across. I agree. Let's talk about this film and the message behind it. Um, it really does point, paint a grim reality of drug addiction. Of course. We, we definitely want to show that addiction does not discriminate. It doesn't matter where you come from, really how old you are. Obviously, Kristen and Hannah are teenage girls. What community you're in, this can affect you. And addiction is a disease, and I think it's really important to he stigmatized this. So then the people that need help can really, you know, find it and they can seek recovery. Because there are currently 22 million Americans in long-term recovery right now. So it's possible we just have to fund the programs so they can get that, that long-term success. Let's talk about your character in this film, Hannah. Uh, what does she deal with and, you know, what was, what was it like you know, kind of becoming her in something, I don't know about your personal past, I don't know if you've got any connection to people who have had some addictions, but how did you relate to her character uh, in this film? So there was definitely tons of research, reading, watching documentaries that went into preparing to, to portray Hannah in Snow Babies. It's definitely the most challenging role to date that I've taken on, but it was such a blessing, really eye-opening for me. I learned so much leading up to filming throughout production. And Hannah's really different from me, honestly. She's, she's really edgy, she's a bit of a vixen, maybe not the best influence on Kristen, but she's got a lot of struggles that she's dealing with. I mean, being a teenager is already difficult enough, but her coping me mechanisms are really, really destructive. So she seeks comfort in the McCusker family because she's an only child. Her parents are divorced. So that's her second home, her second family. But the, the inner demons that she battles really, really spiral her deeper into her addiction. So it's, it's really heartbreaking to see that. And it was difficult. It's, it's hard to go to those dark places. But, you know, when this is people's real lives, you, you want to do that justice 100%. I'm hoping this film really sheds a light on, and Tommy Vex does this a great job on his social media, that your stereotypical drug addict is not that person living under the overpass in a downtown city. It could yeah. be that young kid out in suburbia. So, and it could be that person sitting next to you in class, or that person who works in the cubicle next to you that you, know, you don't know what they're struggling and what they're dealing with. Is that one hope that we can all have that this maybe opens up our eyes to drug addiction? It could be the person right next to you that's suffering from it? Yes, absolutely. You said it so well. I mean, it's really important to, to see the signs, to notice them, to know what they are and learn them, to have these difficult conversations so, so we can make a difference, so we don't lose more people to addiction, so the opioid epidemic doesn't continue growing because these are children's lives, it's, it's adult lives. I mean, people have so much to live for, but when they're consumed by this disease, they don't really get a fair shot. Okay. So 
we, we definitely want to make a difference with snow babies. Absolutely. Now, this film is out on September 29th, right? So we can all look for it there. How can people access this film? Is it in theater release? Is it online, on Netflix? How is it distributed? So, unfortunately, with COVID-19, there won't be any theatrical releases at the moment. However, it'll be on demand and then available for streaming and download. So we'll have more details on that to come. But in the meantime, the soundtrack of the film is out on September 4th. So everyone can check that out, kind of get a feel for what it's going to be like, expect what songs to hear throughout the movie. And then you're, you'll get a better idea of what's to come and how intense it really is. I mean, we're, we're diving deep and we're not sugarcoating it because it's real life. Absolutely. I know there's an amazing soundtrack that backs this film, and I encourage everyone to go follow Tommy Vex on social media. He posts throughout his stories who the artists that you should uh, go follow as well. Before I let you go, I know that you were born in Puerto Rico, but you've got Texas roots. You uh, moved to Dallas, yeah. right? Yes. I did. I was only three years old when I moved to Texas, so I grew up here. Still, of course, really connected to my Puerto Rican roots, but Texas will forever have such a special place in my heart and I know that you're based in Waco so I'm really only like two and a half maybe three hours away from you so that's awesome. I know I love it. Well we're glad we can promote this film for you and you're welcome on this set anytime. We really appreciate your time today. Thank you, Thank you so much Brian. Awesome talking to you. There you go.